there's two ways we can vent tankless water heaters. One option, I'm drawing fresh air for combustion from inside the conditioned space, all right? With that being said, we need to make sure that we have enough free space to draw air from. If not, then you can create a negative in the home and then you won't get the proper operation out of the system. One benefit of a direct vent installation is that we can save space, all right? Most of the time, we have that tank that's in that utility closet that we wanna get out of there with all the other stuff around it. We can then take that tank list, put that in that spot and directly vent the system out Side. So that means our intake is being drawn from outside for combustion, and we're also dumping our exhaust outside as well, making sure that we keep the distance between the two. When we're doing our direct venting, just think about it. We had that old style tank in there. We had to send that B vent all the way up to the roof. Now with tankless, we have flexibility. We can go right out of the sidewall. How much time do you think that'll save you? If I can just put the system in and then 90 right out of the sidewall with my intake and exhaust, keeping the proper specifications. A lot of time. How much money would I save you on materials? I don't have to use as much material to accomplish the same mission, the same goal. Now, National Gas Fuel Co. advises that we need to be a minimum of 12 inches vertical and a minimum of 12 inches horizontal between our intake and our exhaust. But that's just a minimum. Let's give it a little bit more distance. Let's make sure that we eliminate any possibility of recirculating exhaust back into our intake. And if we do that, we'll ensure that this system lasts the lifespan that it was designed to, and also that the end user gets to enjoy the quality of tankless that they were looking for.